is a good friend of ours, too. We love him. We love his wife. They're great friends of ours. And he is an expert and has a lot of passion what he's doing to help people right now. And we have in the house Scott Cohen with Senior Advisory Services. And he's an estate manager, not somebody that's going to walk you around and just to show you a home or two. This guy has a full-blown A to Z system on how to help you with something that all of us, unfortunately, are at some point in our lives, whether it's us, a family member, a cousin, um, someone, you're going to have to have this information, or you should have. Yeah, and I'm going to admit, I'm going to be the first to admit that we're all horribly trained. Nobody has any training in this field whatsoever. There are hardly anybody talks about it. And then when you're faced with it, it's the most important decision you made in your life, and there's absolutely nobody to walk you through it except for Scott. That's right. So we're going to bring on Scott right now to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show right now. Scott Cohen, welcome to the house. Well, thank you for having me. <laughs> He's been so good about being quiet because when he was going over what he does for people, you couldn't shut him up. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. yeah. His wife smacks, my wife smacks me. <laughs> yeah. Well, we, we don't mess with her either. No, she, no, no, no. She, she runs a huge department in Skyline, so we, we're good to her too. <laughs> so, Scott, what's what's Go ahead and dive into this a little bit okay. because explain what you do. And I know it's different from um, what people think that an advisor would be because you've got, you know, I mean, you are, you have qualifications to do this. This isn't just something you just chose to do. Correct. Right. I, I basically um, folded into this industry. Uh, it was more by attrition, uh, starting off doing reverse mortgages for seniors um, and then realizing that uh, not everyone can age at home. So um, I age at home every day. Yeah, every, yes, you do. Yeah. <laughs> no, so, you think you're doing it well, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so what what I looked at was okay. If people aren't aging at home, they're going to age extraneous to their home at a location, which is, you know, they people think nursing homes. And that's just one part of the whole process. So uh, I researched the industry uh, and realized that there was no, something known as a referral agency where a referral agency would give you a list and say, okay, here's, here's a place for mom and dad to go look at. And you, or you take the list and you go look at these places, and you, you, what do you know? Okay. It's like giving you a list of pills and saying, look at these lists of pills and choose which one you want. Correct. Because Without you don't know anything about those pills. Right. The yeah. physician's supposed to show you what to do. Right. Hold your hand. Many physicians don't. Right. Okay. Uh, and some do. So there's good and bad in every industry. So what I did was I decided to incorporate placements w within my uh, framework of, of services. So it started helping them age at home with a reverse mortgage, which we still do. Then when you're not going to be aging at home, uh, that's usually your second choice. Right. Okay? You're going to age in assisted living. That's not a nursing home. Okay? The, the pecking order is hospital nursing home, nursing facility, skilled nursing facility, rehab center, um, convalescent home. Okay. Convalesce is to age there. Okay? Okay. Then after that is something known as assisted living. And that is a place in which you go to have a much better quality of life. And what so happens you at can. those kind of places? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's yeah what, the what's the difference between those different categories? The assisted living, how much assistance are you receiving at one of those places? Well, <clears throat> Five years ago when I started doing this part of it, it's, it's, it's evolved. Okay. It was more custodial care, which means you're not getting injections by uh, an LVN or an RN if you're, let's say, you're diabetic, for example. Um, uh, but now they've added those. Okay. They now have a director of nursing, just like a nursing facility. Remember, hospital, nursing facility. And in that nursing facility, that's kind of like an extension of a hospital. Because it could cost you ten, fifteen thousand dollars per day at a hospital. Right. Right. That's why they came up with nursing facilities to then get your rehabilitation. Okay. And when you're dealing in that environment, you're dealing in a short-term situation. Now, most people don't even know. Oh, okay. The doctor told me to go here or go there. Well, don't listen to the doctor because a lot of times it's self-interest. Well, wait a minute. Isn't that wrong? That is that's illegal. That is illegal. Okay. That is called the Stark Law. That is written under the uh, Social Security Administration Act under what's known as Title 42, the Stark Law violation. Physician self-referral. Physician does that? No. 
you, you, that's why I get involved at that point. So that's an, inf that's an inflection point okay. in which I get involved and I say, now let's evaluate the nursing facilities. I evaluate the business. So how would you think? How, many, how would you evaluate their business? Well, I understand well, I don't why. I know anything about it, so I wouldn't know how to evaluate it. Well, and I exactly. understand why you'd need to do that because you don't want to commit to a place that's going to be shutting down six weeks later. Correct. Or that's going to abuse your, one of your parents. Yeah, that's everyone's fear. Or that's going to, let's say, for example, the physician says, go to this particular facility because maybe there's remuneration there. You know, they're greasing them. Yeah. And that's very common. And by the way, they get busted. And, and just so you they, know, if you just <laughs> tuned in, you're listening to Scott Cohen with Senior Advisory Services sharing with us what we all have to know, they say, is what you need to know to help out our, our aging parents, bottom line. Yeah. And he's really put together a system to help because I know personally, Gene and I just had this conversation. We don't have a clue. If we were to go help our parents today, unfortunately, we'd have to dive in fresh and new and not have a clue, and we'd be behind the eight ball and not have somebody helping. And, and I know your services – it's not uh, expensive. I mean, it's really, for what you provide, I, I mean, it's it very... Uh, reasonable. It, reasonable, but you can't even re replace it. These are your parents. I mean, right. seriously. You, yeah. And I mean, you see this all the time. These people, I'm sure, become your friends. You become family with them because of how important your role is with their families. There's a big emotional connection here. And the emotional connection stems from the insecurity that the adult children have. So, for example, you're, I'm dealing with someone in that nursing facility situation. By creating that evaluation process of evaluating the facility, evaluating the business, taking the client with me and touring them, and then suddenly you see a level of calm come over them. Most people are, are delusional. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, mom's going to in and out. She'll be out in two weeks. Right. Well, it's now six weeks later. They get up to 100 days by law under Medicare, up to. doesn't mean they get 100 days covered under Medicare. It's like sale up to 90% off. No, it's not 90% <laughs> off. Okay? So by doing that, there's a sense of calm. But when uh, my involvement gets injected here, it's a long-term plan. It's not like saying I'm going to buy this home today and in 45 years I know where I'm going. No, you're at a latter part of an individual's life, okay, the last 5, 10, and 15 years. Right. So it's very important to have a systemic plan together. So the nursing home plan's in place, and then what's going to happen after that? One of two things. You age at home, and I will help set up caregivers for you at your home, and I'll create this plan help negotiate with these caregiving companies, get you a good price. Actually, what we're going to do yeah. is because, see, this is valuable stuff you're hearing right now from Scott Cohen with Senior Advisory Service. He's going to go into in depth of how he helps you change your life and change the, the life of your parents and, and bring calm to your life. When we come back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show on your hometown station, AM 1220.